Hey guys, welcome to Pagan Outdoors. So we're out fishing again. This is one of them ones where you set up in the dark and go out in the dark. I'm only here for a couple of hours. But, uh, well, that was a bit of a knock. But, um, there are flood water conditions. I mean, the river's up a good few feet. So, it's definitely got like three 15 mil boilies on one rod and a couple of 8 mil pellets on the other just to see if anything grabs them. So I'm only fishing close in, sort of four or five ounce weights. I'll see how that goes. If it's not enough, then I'll have to step up. But yeah, I'm not sure how many other people are here, but um, it's not too bad the conditions, I suppose, really. So it's hard to see where the creases are and that that you can sort of tuck into because um, you just can't see bug or out even with a strong light. But, so I have to excuse the, the bright light lighting on this uh, little video. So, as you, uh, for the barbels, I'm on the middle trend of the farm then, power station stretch. So, out the barbel, so I've got me 13 foot, two and a half core and barbel rods, 8 10 bait runners, and I've done a little video of both rigs I'm using. So, uh, ground bait proper stinky plenty of oils in on the up rod and uh, stones with uh, a PVA mesh bag of pellets on the bottom rod so I'll put all close in and we'll see if we can nick something so I'll do a couple of catch ups as we go through the evening I'm only here for about four hours so it's literally a quick little session so luckily it's only about ten minutes from my house so but yeah we'll see what happens you never know, maybe I'll sneak one out. So, what I'll do is I'll catch you guys later on. Bye. Hey guys, this is my first rod out. Uh, we're doing uh, flood water fishing. So I've got uh, four and a half ounce stones, heavy duty bank tackle leg clip, 17 and a half pound gamma main line, 17 and a half pound gamma hook length, down to a, a size four grips uh, wide gape hook with three 15 mil hardened Pacific tuna boilies and a nice mix of uh, eight mil pellets that have all been soaked in goodies so that's the first rod out I can't see too much because of the blooming dark but I've got my tripod set up uh, power station over there and the river let me see the reflection from the bottom of my tripod leg that's where the water is, so it's up quite a lot. So I'm gonna get this one out and I'll show you the next rod. All right guys, second rod. Uh, bank tackle, heavy duty leg clip again. Uh, five ounce corn feeder with the top bit of mesh. 17 and a half pound gamma main line. As always, I've got 13 pound gamma fluorocarbon hook length running down to a little uh, D rig with a, one of them uh, screw spike things two uh, eight mil pellets and a little bit of artificial corn uh, size 12 uh, grips wide gape hook um, I've had a few fish on this so see what happens and we've got a feeder um, in the feeder we've got uh, mixed pellets we've got um, hemp and we've got some uh, halibut and ground bait mixed with some hemp oil and some other goodies so we'll see what that brings so I'll catch you back in a bit hey guys well I've managed to get one so not particularly big one, six pound eight, but still in this float, fighting fit. And this deaf one's ready to go back already. Here we go, six pound eight ounces. <laughs> Lovely trank barbell. Fairly small one, but I do love barbell. So look at that. So. Whoop definitely fighting fit 
and we are going to go and get him back. So, catch you in a bit, guys. Alright, guys, just to catch up. So, nothing else since that um, £6.8 barbell. I have to say, the temperatures must have dropped a good four, five degrees, I think. Uh, it's getting really, I mean, it gives you breath earlier. It's getting bitterly cold. I mean, it's about 10 o'clock, I think. So, but yeah, you can definitely, I um, mean, the stars are out full force. It's a shame this phone doesn't pick them up. Um, but yeah, no, it's beautiful up there. So it's clear sky, so temperature is always going to drop. The river's still rising. I think it's risen about six inches. Uh, I've got here about six, half six, about half six. So it's risen up uh, six inches uh, so far. So um, we were still rising. There's a lot of weed and surprisingly fresh uh, growth sort of weed coming down as well. It shows you the warm autumn we've had. Stuff still growing. But yeah, a lot of dead leaves and the usual sort of crappy stuff. I put um, like a stop knot type thing about three foot above uh, the leg clip just to try and catch most of the stuff as it's coming down the line try and not collect all the way around the leg clip or onto the boat so but yeah no it's definitely got a lot colder um, so you've got rising river um, the water's freezing as well so um, but yeah, I'm happy with the one I got. Yeah, it's not not the biggest, especially for the Trent, but it was a lovely fighting fish. Fought well in the in this flood water. Um, give a good count of itself. So uh, stunning fish, dorsal fin up. So a bit angry, I think. But yeah, so it's been a good evening. So I had one fish. I think I've got the stretch to myself tonight, well this evening, so I thought one or two might have been over, but you know, I think I've got it to myself, so um, yeah, I mean it is, I mean, apart from the noise from the power station and the other train on the other side, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's bliss over there, so earlier on it wasn't too bad, it was quite warm, well, warm, it was, wasn't bad, but now it's really starting to drop and there's condensation uh, dropping up on everything now so um, you've got to be off your stretch by half ten so I'll be sort of slowly sort of packing bits away that I don't need um, throwing the last of the ground weight mix out that I was using on the upstream rod so um, just PVA bags in case I need them but I think I've just done my last cast, so I'll wait for them to either get pulled in with a weed or... Um, let's go and quick look, actually. Be right. Um, yeah, there's nothing going on there at the moment, but... I mean, that small barbell I had was like a proper one-toner, so... I might have them for a while. Normally, I have a light on the rod tips, so I like to watch, see if the rod tips are knocking and see if the tail of his weed or if the bremer knock it or if fish is knocking uh, the bait around or whatnot and I normally strike at the bites before the alarms go but this time with how the flood water is sort of the tips are nodding back and forth like you're fishing on an estuary or something so you're sort of having to wait for fairly uh, bold bites as it were the old three foot switch which uh, but little link give, us, give me so yeah it's a wonderful evening really um, I'm not used to that there's been like me the only one here normally there's a few on here this, during the evenings but obviously I mean as the season's gone on people have sort of dropped off um, not a lot I don't think sort of tend to like fishing sort of setting up in the dark type of thing and just only fishing for a few hours sort of uh, tends to be my sort of 
type of fishing. That's what I tend to do the majority of the time because that's sort of what you fish with what you got. So I fish short sessions because that's all I've got time for really. So it is what it is, you just have to do the best with what you got. But it is lovely. I wish this camera would pick up because you've got the reflections from the power station coming across the water and you can just see sort of the, the surface of the water belting through and the ripples on the surface. Oh, it's, it's quite stunning to be fair but it's just a shame this won't pick it up, this, camp, this phone won't pick it up but yeah, that's a good evening. Um, I showed you my rigs. Um, I can't think if I mentioned that fish was caught on one of them dynamite baits, cheesy garlic, um, sort of weird ball thing, uh, baits, busters or something like that, um, that I put on a, one of my D rigs with the bait screw. Uh, it was sort of about 15mm type size, they're not, definitely got sizes, they're like midi or small or whatever, but about a 15mm I reckon. But yeah, that produced the bite tonight. So I think definitely, so with the way the temperature's going, I think it's definitely time to ease off on the, uh, some of the sort of fish meal type things, but we'll see. Um, so I'm probably going to end this here unless I get another fish in the next 10 minutes. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's not the best sort of filming, especially this time of year but it's what it is at the end of the day so um, I hope you enjoyed it um, any comments or suggestions or things I can do differently um, please put them in the comments below I only have my phone Samsung Galaxy um, to film with so I can't um, do huge sort of different things with it but I try my best um, if you'd like sort of uh, like subscribe um, uh, if you want to you don't have to it's I'm doing these videos as a diary as well as sort of trying to put some info out there so um, if you'd like to subscribe it'd, it'd be nice I'll give it a like or two or even share it I mean someone may sort of learn something from it um, but say it's a bit of a change from the, my normal sort of in the wood stuff. But um, the first video I did seem to well, was quite well received, so we'll see what this one's like. But um, what I'll do is I'll catch you on the next one. I'm not sure if it'll be a fishing one or in the woods or something like that, but we'll see. But uh, love and light, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. So I shall catch you later.